Hi, I'm Ron McGill, naturalist here at Zoo Miami and Nikon ambassador. And today we're here at Zoo Miami looking for the small things, macro photography. Anywhere you look, you're probably passing by things you never see. But when you take the time to find them, you'll be amazed what you can photograph. Depending on your subject matter, you know, the first thing you want to do is you want to capture that initial image. You want to prove that you saw it. You want to see what it looks like. And then if you're going to get some cooperation from that animal, whether it be an insect, whether it be a, a tarantula, whether it be a frog, then you can start playing. Then you can start experimenting. Today, to capture macro images of this frog, I'm going to be using a Nikon D750 body combined with the AFS Micro Nikkor 105 2.8 VR lens. In addition, I'll be using the R1C1 wireless close-up speed light system. To put it in simple terms, a micro nicro lens is a lens that allows you to focus closer. So it allows you to get into areas that normally you wouldn't be able to see with a normal lens. The world of photography opens up all kinds of windows. Every day we see the big things, we see the skies, the trees, the big animals. But every day we're walking by little things like this frog. The world of macro photography is a whole different one. And it's so fascinating because you'll see things that you never thought existed. Find a frog like this resting on a leaf, in his environment. Get close, get that macro, get down at his level. Big mistake people make always shooting down at things. When you have the opportunity, get down low. Look at him right in the eye. It's really quite intimate and quite amazing. Generally speaking, you wanna get something like the nose and the eye in focus if you have an animal's face in the frame. To do that, with a normal lens, if you're shooting a person, 5.6, a little bit more would be fine. In macro photography, it doesn't even come close. Generally speaking, remember, you're in a much smaller world here. You need a much greater depth of field. Minimum F11. I usually go up to F22. So you've got to keep that in mind. It's going to require a lot more light. Now, sometimes Mother Nature gives you enough light. Strong sunlight sometimes allows you to stop down at F11, up to F22. However, more times than not, you're going to need a little bit of a kicker. And that's where the wireless Nikon close-up speed light system works. The biggest advantage is its versatility. You have separate speed lights on a ring that you can move around, you can use one, turn off the other, use them both, actually differ the, the amount of light put out by each one. You're literally painting with that light in your macro subject. And that's something that gives you a tremendous amount of creativity. I like this photograph because it shows a little personality in the frog. It's not so tight where you're looking at a detail of the frog, but you're looking close enough that when you look at the expression on his face, you look how his head is a little bit higher than the body. He's not just tucked down into the leaf. It shows your personality. And I think that's kind of what it is. This is kind of like a macro portrait, so to speak, of this frog kind of displaying a personality that makes you say, he's kind of cute. What we worked on today was a white tree frog. This is basically a plain little green tree frog. Anybody sees it, the first impression is, it's a green frog. All of a sudden, you look through a macro lens and it becomes this frog with these beautiful little pores and these incredible patterns in its eyes. Every little vein, every little ridge, things you can't see with your naked eye. All of a sudden, through your macro lens, you're seeing. It's another world. It really is so intriguing, so fascinating. I can't say enough how amazing it is to look through that lens and look into this little macro world. The greatest thing about macro photography is there are small things everywhere. Whether they be butterflies in your backyard, lizards at the park, insects walking across the street, flowers, anywhere. You can find these small things and through a macro lens, they will look amazing. Get that system, go out, find that small world, photograph it. I guarantee you, you'll be amazed.